Okay, so I think everyone knows scales are a useful thing to know, and they're a useful thing to practice. Uh, but far too often people only practice scales in the dullest way possible. So just starting on the root note. Going up two octaves and coming back down again. So if you only practice scales like that, you're missing out on the vast majority of the interesting musical possibilities. Um, so, different ways we can use to practice scales. The first one I'm going to suggest is sequences. So a sequence is just a musical pattern that repeats at a different pitch. So I can take a very simple sequence. I can play a group of four notes going up. I can start on the second note of the scale, do the same thing again. And so on with the third. And if I link them all together, it sounds much nicer than practicing the scale in a traditional way, and it's much more useful when you're soloing. Um, you can also make sequences of any number of notes. So say, for example, three. Uh, even two sounds kind of cool. that you can move through the scale is actually a sequence. Um, so I urge you to explore and find some interesting sounding patterns and then learn them throughout the scales you know. Uh, the next thing you can do is you can break the scale up into its constituent intervals. So instead of playing just the notes one after the other, which is playing in seconds, you know, from the first note to the second note, is an interval of a second. So each note here is a second away from the other we can play through the scale in thirds. So we can start on the first note of the scale, jump to the third, and go back to the second note of the scale, jump to the fourth, third note to the fifth, and so on. So, which sounds quite nice. Um, you can break it up into any interval you choose. So fourths, uh, fifths, Sounds kind of nice. Six, sevens, whatever. I'm not going to play the ones I'm not so good at. Um, and basically, these ideas should help you kind of open up the scale and present more possibilities. If your ears and hands are only comfortable with the really boring sound of starting on the lowest note and going to the top and back down again, there's a strong chance that when you improvise, you're only going to play those boring ideas. And maybe there's more interesting ideas out there. So those are two ways to kind of uh, spice up your scale practice. They're good for your hands, they're good for your ears, they're good for your musicality. Enjoy!